As an independent artist, you have to wear many hats, from a character designer, environment artist, technical artist, sculptor, shader designer, and more. While it's possible to know how to do all these things, mastering them takes a lot of time. So today we're going to look for artists who can supply you with ready-made assets, collections, and library, and look at some of the most underrated add-ons for independent artists. Each character in this collection took more than a few hours to make, that's why the 3D studio employs several artists to make hundreds of different characters that are later used in this character generator that can generate more than 2 billion combinations of 3D characters that are rigged and ready for you to animate. If you are looking for a more realistic output, Human Generator is an alternative underrated tool for creating realistic characters with all the detail you can expect. You have control of almost every aspect of the character design process, from skin tone, hair cells, accessories like clothing, and more. Our third underrated add-on in Blender is Geoswarm, which is a collection of bugs, insects, birds, and over 50 insect species. They are all animated, textured, and can be used in the add-ons swarm system that lets you spawn swarms of bugs like flies and all other types of creatures included in their large library. It's easy to add or scatter grass into a scene. What is not easy is making the grass animated and interact with other objects in your scene, especially animated ones. This physical grass add-on can simulate collisions and interactions between grass, grass instances, and other objects, and any objects you have in your scene. And that's why it's on our list of underrated add-ons for Blender. The Blender Cloth Simulation System has been in Blender since Blender 2.1, but the easiest thing you can use it for is making a waving flag or a blanket falling down. Everything beyond that is quite complicated to do and requires a degree of expertise to pull off more complicated simulations like shirts, dresses, curtains, and more. The Simply Cloth Pro add-on has been the best option for non-technical artists who just want well-made clothes in Blender. Given that Simply Cloth also comes with a large library of pre-made clothes that can be added to any character. This is just a match made in heaven. Blender sometimes teases you with a powerful feature like the sky texture but never delivers beyond the basic features. You either have to add those yourself or find better alternatives like the physical starlight atmosphere in this case, which is a full feature add-on with things like animatable clouds, stars, day and nighttime cycles, atmospheric fog and more, basically things that you don't see in the default sky texture. Speaking of better alternative, the cell fracture is a great add-on for fracturing which comes built in within Blender. What it lacks is the ability to make detailed fractures. The fractures it creates are too simple and too clean for anything realistic. So you have to look for alternatives like this fracture volume which does the same thing but with more detail and more realism. Even with over 2,600 cells, the aquatic water library still feels underrated. When you have it, adding rain becomes easy for you, making rivers is easier, making water puddles is a breeze. Basically, it simplifies anything that has to do with water effects, like waterfalls, fountains, oceans, and more. It has been used a lot by architects. While the aquatic library is great for water effects, most of them are just hacks that work in real time to speed up rendering using shaders and particle systems. If you're looking for physically best water simulations that look more realistic, your best option is flip fluids. You get more control, more realism, better viscous fluids, and more. It's miles ahead compared to the default Blender simulation system. As an independent artist, you can access hundreds of photorealistic trees, plants, and vegetations from one add-on, Botanic. This library has become the backbone of many environment artists with its library of ready-to-render trees that come with different shaders for different seasons and have wind animations. If you have a modest computer setup but you want to render massive forests, you can go simple with Alpha Trees. It uses a texture on a plane technique to replace millions of polygons per tree with just four vertices on a plane making it the best option for rendering dense forests. If you have a more powerful computer, this just means you can render twice or 10 times more than everyone else. 
How about 50 drag and drop generators? From cable generators, rope generators, snow, scales, fire, planets, spaceships, decals, bridges, and more, all bundled in one simple tool the GeoGen Ultimate Procedure Generator Bundle. All these are just generators that you can use at any point in your scene. You simply drag them from the library into your scene to make it to add the detail you want. There have been many car libraries that have come and gone, but any artist who has used traffic, which now includes a road generator, will tell you that this is the most underrated add-on of all time. First, it's a library of well-made cars that are rigged and unmetable, then it's also a road generator and then a traffic generator. What more could you need? Every independent artist needs a material library. And if you need one, why not get one that is constantly updated with procedure and customizable materials of every type. It also comes with smart masks and everything you need to make your materials look perfect. It goes without saying, crowds in any render make that render look rich, expensive, and just better for so many reasons. Human characters are hard to make, hard to rig, and hard to admit. So to have hundreds, if not thousands, in your render makes your render look expensive and increases the production value of your render. This population crowd simulation add-on makes it easy to add animated crowds in your render. Okay, thank you for watching. Those were some underrated add-ons. If you want to check them out, links are going to be in the description. If you want to learn Blender without any add-ons, basically bare bones Blender, I have a bunch of tutorials in the descriptions as well that you might want to look into. You can let me know what was your first add-on you installed in Blender in the comments. Thank you. See you in the next video.